Let's check out some wolf bristle brushes. So Chronicle RPG were kind enough to send some of these brushes to me to test out. Oh, and these, and this. There's a smaller one somewhere, but I don't know where I've put it at the moment. Here's a little link to their website if you want to go and check them out for yourselves. Now, I'm absolutely fascinated with the idea of wolf bristle brushes. So this is definitely the first thing we're going to be having a look at. Let's jump in. So here we are, the Wolf Bristle Brushes by Chronicles RPG. So before we can have a look at them properly, we need to take this cellophane off. Sometimes the cellophane is easy to pull off and sometimes it's not. This time it's not. It's very tight and stiff. It's really tight. But as you can see, we managed it in the end. Now always make sure to throw your rubbish in the bin. And if you can recycle it, always do that. So here we are, the Wolf Bristle Brushes. These come in a lovely looking tube, which is about the same size as a Pringles tube. Just a lot better quality, but sadly, no Pringles. As you can see, there's a wolf on the front wearing a suit of armor, carrying his weapon of choice, a brush. Now I don't know if he has a name. If he doesn't, then maybe we should make one up. The side of the tube gives us a little description of the contents. 10 wolf bristle brushes with a rosewood tone handle and feral brass ferrules, housed in a velvet pouch. Sized from treble zero to seven, this pack is perfect for any kind of grey miniature prey. Brought to you courtesy of Chronicle RPG, with their website on the end there. Now on the top of the tube, we can see our friend the wolf again. Apparently, this contains free downloadable RPG content. I wonder what that is, hey? The other end of the tube is sadly not quite so interesting. It's just a barcode. Maybe we could use it on a barcode battler. Does anyone remember those things? No? Let's move on. So interestingly, when it comes to removing the lid, it's really tight. I spent a little time trying not to pop it off, if that makes sense, else everything would probably go flying across the room. So the first thing that comes out of the box is this lovely looking pouch. Is pouch the correct word? I think it is. Struggling to get out, my fingernails are just not long enough. We might need a poking stick for this. Aha, there we go. We got there in the end. So this is a do's and don'ts for your brushes with Professor Wolf. Ah, so that's his name, Professor Wolf. I assume it's the same wolf as on the front of the box. Anyway, here are the rules. Rule number one, store your brushes with the tips up. Rule number two, load your brush only halfway. Rule number three, clean with cold water. Rule number four is don't store your brushes tip down. Rule number five is be gentle. And rule number six, dried paint can cause fraying, so make sure you keep them clean. The information is courtesy of Chronicle RPG and the art is by Rowan. We'll put a link to his Instagram in the description, unless that's a Twitter, in which case we'll do that instead. On the back side of the rules sheet is a QR code, I assume to download some free content. Feel free to screenshot and use my code if you want it. First come, first serve, obviously. Now the last time we had a QR code on the channel was the Horus Heresy Land Speeder. Someone scanned the code on that one too. I can't remember what they found. Was it really that long ago? So let's have a look at what's inside the little pouch. There's rather a few brushes in here. They just don't stop coming out. Always at the end, make sure you check to see you haven't missed anything and left anything behind. On a side note, this little pouch is quite cool. 
You could keep all sorts in here, as it's a little drawstring job. You could put your dice in it, perhaps, or even your gold, for when you visit the shops. Let me check my bag of coins. Marvellous. On the side of the pouch, there's this silver wolf's head. I don't know how they printed it on, but it looks like gold leaf, but in silver. So perhaps it's silver leaf. Are there any textile experts watching? Please let us know how it's done in the comments below. So the brushes. First up is a triple zero Jerry, perhaps named after the Spice Girl or Lehman Russ's Wolf. Next up is a double O Frecky. This time it's definitely named after Lehman Russ's other wolf. There are no Spice Girls in sight this time. Now thirdly, it's a number zero Garmer. Did I say that right? I don't know how to pronounce it. The closest word I can think of is those Garmin sat-navs. Ah, it would appear we have two Garmers. Well, there's no chance of us getting lost with two sat-navs, is there? Next, out of the bag, is a number one wep wa -wet. Again, I can't tell you the source of that name. Wolfie experts, let us know in the comments below. I do like the name wep wa -wet, though. It's pretty cool. And again, we have another number one wep wa -wet. It's nice to have multiples of the brush that you use a lot. It makes perfect sense to me. Good call, Chronicle RPG. It's a number two Amarok up next. Did I mention that these brushes are the big shouldered variety? Well, they are. I don't think I've ever tried one like this myself, so it should be interesting. Oh, by the way, I'm sure an Amarok is some sort of off-road SUV. Is it a VW? And in typical clever fashion, we also have a second one of the number two Amarok. This brush appears to be a good standard brush size for busy work. The next brush is a number three O'Donnell. Chris O'Donnell? I think that's an Irish name. Now looking at this, the three looks even better for my busy work, so this might be my go-to brush. And lastly, we have this literal beast, a number seven Fenrir, a fitting name for such a weapon. Now was Fenrir the wolf summon in Final Fantasy IX? And was it another wolf in Demon's Souls? This is a common name, I think, but a good one. It'll be great fun to try this one out. Now, the weird thing is, I was expecting the brush bristles to be black. Not sure why. Now, interestingly, on the inside of this lid here, it says, if you're enjoying this video, then please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. That means you, Timothy. If you are enjoying the content here on the channel, then please consider joining the Patreon, the link to which is in the description below or up here somewhere. Oh, by the way, it doesn't really say that in the lid. Yours should be clear. Now, if you want to get your own set of these brushes, I've put a little link to them specifically up here for you. There's also a lot of other exciting things on the website, so I strongly suggest going to have a look for yourself. So that gives us 10 brushes in all, which matches what it says on the box, which is always a good thing. But before we go, we have to have a look at the tips. So as my old mate Ollie would say, here's a tip for you. This actually looks really nice. There's no snake tongue, no hooked tip, and no random longer bristles sticking out in the middle. At first glance, it's much better than some of those high-end brushes I've had a look at recently over the years. I can't wait to try these out. So I'm rather pleased with what I've seen of these Wolf Bristle brushes so far. They look really good quality and they'll be very interesting to try out. Now a few people have seen that I'm going to be having a look at these and they've all asked me what they're like, so stay tuned for some field testing. As always, thanks for watching and always remember to drill your barrels.